This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome, hi viewers. Today in this video, we will learn read and data statement in GW Basic. So, this statement is used to store the numeric and string constant that are accessed by a read statement specified somewhere in the program so then the syntax is for using read statement is data comma separated list of constants now I'm going to type the interpretation for better understanding and explanation Constants may be any string or numeric constant. So, a string in programming viewers means that group of characters and what are characters? Any alphabetic letter in English alphabets. We call it letter, every single letter, like C, O, N, S, T, N, T, and S makes constant. So in programming, we call C as the character, O as the character, N is the character, and every single alphabet as a character. And the group of characters is called string. So here, the constants is a string. Constants is a word, but in programming, we call constants as a string, a group of characters. String constants must be enclosed in double quotation marks only if they contain commas columns or spaces Otherwise, quotation marks are not needed. So for only string constants, the string constant must be enclosed in double quotation marks. If they contain commas, columns, or spaces, otherwise quotation marks are not needed. The list of constants with a data statement cannot exceed one line if the list is too long to fit in one line then we should use another data statement so the list with the data statement should fit in one line if not then we you need to use another data statement in the program to specify the remaining list of constants the data contained in multiple data statements is assumed to be a single 
continuous list of items regardless of where the data is placed in the program. The variable type numeric or string given in the read statement must agree with the corresponding constant in the data statement. So whatever the constants, whether it's a numeric constant or string constants used with the data statement are accessed by read statement. Actually, the data statement is used to store the numeric and string constant and whereas the read statement is used to access those values but that sequence and the order of all the string and numeric constants are going to use are going to be used with data statement should match with the read statement sequence the sequence must be correct so that is what i have written over here that the data is placed in the program the variable name type numeric or string given in the read statement must agree with the corresponding constant in the data statement so i'm going to give an example of program so the concept of the reading data statement will be more clear to you guys. So let's have a look in this program. So viewers, here we are. I'm going to type the program over here for the better understanding of reading data statement. So first, we will type the line number ten here. I will type the comments. The comment can remark can be started with the reserver rem ram, or you can simply type an apostrophe single quote like this. So both can be used for displaying comment in the program. You see, since you know it's a non-executable statement and compiler always ignore it while executing the program. So I'm going to write the comment this program demonstrates the use of data and read statement. In line number 20, I will type read and type A, B, and C. Since here you can see that we have used three variables. One, the first one is the A and second one is B. But here in the C, the third variable C, you can see a dollar sign which is used to, which is used for string variable. The first two variables A and B are will be treated as the numerical will be because there is no dollar sign mentioned with them so at line number 30 we will type print c dollar and put a semicolon so as i'm gonna tell you guys that the semicolon or comma whenever used with the print statement is used to give some spaces so comma gives a larger spaces as compared to the semicolon but the semicolon gives a uh, display of small space so we'll type double quotation mark and put an equal to sign and i already told you guys that whenever uh, something is written enclosed in the quotation double quotation marks with the print statement always displayed on the output screen so the equal to sign will be displayed on the output screen and the c dollar is used to show the value of a and b so we'll type a plus b and divide by 2 so at line number 40 we'll type data 10 comma 20 and comma average so one thing is very important to be noted over here that viewers that now here you can see that the read has a sequence like the first variable is a second one is b both are numeric variable and the third one is the string variable because the dollar sign is mentioned over here and the data statement sequence you can see over here that the first 
over a value as a numeric constant the 10 will be stored in corresponding variable numeric variable a and then after comma you can see the second value 20 numeric constant will be stored and assigned to the second variable name b which is a numeric again a numeric variable but in the third place you can see the average it's a string constant and it is enclosed in double quotation marks so that is how you know a string constant is identified and this will be stored in the corresponding third variable named c dollar and dollar is used for the string variable so the output of the program will be like here it is c dollar will be used so this average is stored in c dollar so what we'll do read will first read and access all the values from so read first ignore all these statements all the nine and we'll try to find the reservoir data and we'll try to store all the values or constants to their corresponding variables whether it's a string variable or a numeric variable so here the output so uh, and the print statement is used to show the result of the program so here the output of the program will be like print c dollar the c dollar has the value of average average will be written over here and the semicolon is used to give a space and the equal to sign will be shown as it is because it is enclosed in double quotation marks and then variable a has the value of 10 variable b has the value of 20 to 20 plus 10 makes 30 and on 30 divided by 2 gives us 15 so the order word of the program will be like average space equal to sign 15 so i'm going to end this program by typing n at line number 50 and i'm going to so viewers here we can see the program we have just typed and then if we run it then we can see average is equal to 15 and here we can see there's a larger space over here just because we put a comma and if we want to have a smaller space then we can always see that at line number 40 you can see that we put a comma over here and comma gives us give much bigger space so if we edit this line number 40 we can type edit 40 and here we can always remove that comma and can put a semicolon instead and then can type a plus b divided by 2 likewise we're just trying to replace comma with semicolon so here you can see uh, let's see the list then now you can see there is a semicolons in place of comma and it will give us a lesser space like this so that's all for today and thanks for watching we have discussed data statement in detail so in our next video we will discuss the read statement so that the concept is clear step by step for you guys for your better understanding so that's all and thanks for watching Oh, 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 oh,